Hey gamers, uh, it's Wintermute here from Grinding This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included, the uh, kind of beginner's guide. This is part two. So last episode we got the bathroom set up, and we got the bedroom set up, and you'll notice things have shifted around a bit. I moved the bedroom down a little bit because each floor you want to have four tiles high, and I made a mistake, I made it five tiles high. So fix that up. And right now we're researching, um, we should be researching advanced research here which will unlock the jobs board. And no one seems to be researching. I think I need to... maybe set it a higher priority. I'm not sure why no one is researching. It's hooked up to the power. Now, one thing I forgot to mention last episode was... Oh yeah, Bert. Bert was busy running. That's why he, uh, that's why he couldn't uh, do the research. Um, one thing I forgot to mention was you probably want to run your electrical wire through the uh, tile because that kind of hides it away. So that's what I did here. So now that you got research going, uh, we're going to get jobs next, but we want to do some exploratory digging because our food is starting to run out. We're down to around 12,000 food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a ladder down this way and head down because there's a bunch of free food on the starting map. We'll dig our way in here, and I'm going to dig up all this food. Dig it all up. The other thing this is going to do is it's going to allow the CO2 that's building up, that the duplicates are exhaling, these little red dots. Um, it's going to allow the CO2 to fall. CO2 generally falls to the bottom, and oxygen rises, and then hydrogen, which we haven't encountered yet, goes to the very top. So the CO2 will naturally settle down here and kind of um, we won't have to worry about it for quite some time once we uh, give it all, give it all the space to collect in. So it'll buy us some time. So we're go we're going down here for food. We're going down there for um, for this. There's oxygen in here as well, high concentration. Now the other thing we want to do, and we want to build pretty early on, because the oxygen levels are getting low in here under oxygen there's an algae deoxidizer one of the most important uh, early game things and we're going to build that right right here for now kind of central so that there's oxygen in the bedrooms and then there's oxygen down here and i actually am going to deconstruct one of these tiles here in order to allow some of the air to flow better now, later on you get an airflow tile which we don't have yet which will allow the air to flow through tiles, but for now we can just poke holes in the floor. If we poke a hole, a floor, uh, a hole in the floor in the bedroom, we'll lose our, our room bonus, which will be bad, so I'm not going to do that. So we need to hook up power to this algae deoxidizer. Let's do that. And they'll come along and, and uh, build that wire. I'm going to set the priority of the wire a little bit higher maybe seven so they can come and uh, come and do that right away I also just set the research table to priority seven so they will focus on research a little bit more Bert's the only one that can do research right now do based on the priorities I set so food we're down to eight thousand nine thousand but they're they're getting more food as they go in here and we're exposing more of the map so if you hit Alt S, it enters, it toggles screenshot mode on and off, which lets you zoom out even more. And Alt S turns it back on or off. So we can, see, if we go, we zoom out. Let's pause things and hit the F3 for the temperature overlay. We can see the center is green, which is a nice temperature. And then off outside of this, what I call the bubble, it's getting it's getting warmer. And you don't want a lot of this heat to get into your base because you won't be able to grow food and stuff. So we're going to try to stay inside the bubble for for quite some time because there's a lot of we, we have everything we need kind of in the starting area and we have tons of water to start out so that's not really a concern uh, these guys are idle are idle not really doing anything so I could dig over here but I'm gonna avoid digging into this hot area I don't want to I don't want this hydrogen to get out we got little creatures in there but we're gonna we're gonna stay in the bubble for probably like 20 cycles or more So we can probably uh, explore up to the top as well. There's some free food up here, so let's build a ladder up to the top to keep all the duplicates busy. 
And I'm also going to dig out all this algae, this food. Grab all that stuff, because that's free food as well. Now our research just completed. So we're currently not doing any research. And that un that unlocked the... Yeah, under here stations, that unlocked the jobs board. So I'm going to build a jobs board. Maybe right here by the bathroom. And this is a pretty important piece of uh, equipment because it'll allow us to uh, assign jobs to the duplicate. So now that it's built, hit pause, and you can hit L or go into the jobs menu in the top right here. And we're going to assign dupes to some various jobs. Now, Bert was our researcher. I think, was he, was he the best at, no. Yeah, Bert's good at research, so we'll assign Bert to research. And they're going to get a bonus from being assigned to this job. They're going to get plus two to learning and they'll be able to use the supercomputer. So you'll want one duplicate on research. I usually put one on cooking. Uh, you can see Nicola has a little bit of skill in cooking, so we'll maybe set him to cooking. Uh, we'll assign one to dig uh, to digging. Uh, Bert's really good at that, but uh, Otto's also pretty good. And then Marie, maybe we'll set to, uh, it's always good to have one on gopher. So we'll set Marie to gopher. Later on, we're going to want an artist, and and we'll want uh, probably a farmhand later on, but initially that should be good. And we also want to get our next research going, so we'll hit R. And the next thing I research and I recommend is basic farming, because we want to get some mealwood planted early on. And it also unlocks the compost and the algae terrarium, so that's kind of useful. So we can see there's some CO2 up here, uh, and that's going to fall down this ladder and make its way to the, kind of the bottom of the map. But gases don't move very easily uh, if there's only a one tile kind of gap. So what I'll do is I'll probably dig out um, some space here so the gases can move more freely. Ideally it would be three wide, but our job support's kind of in the way here. And we got lots of hatches running around in our base. We'll want to clean up all this stuff so that they don't uh, they don't eat it all. So we'll do a sweep order. A sweep order in the bedroom, a sweep order in the bathroom. I'll do the sweep order down here as well because that's where the hatches are. So we'll let them dig that out and I'll skip ahead just because it's going to take them a while to do all the sweeping and stuff. Now, it'll take them a while to do all the sweeping, so it's not super critical that um, they sweep everything up right away, but you probably want to go to your your rations box here and make sure all the food, select edible, select all cooking ingredients, and don't use sweep only. And I usually set this to a high priority, like eight. That way they'll go pick up all the food and stick it in the box, because otherwise these hatches, those little creatures that were running around, they'll go, they might eat your food and you don't want them doing that. So that sound means research is done. Now the algae deoxidizer is running and the oxygen levels are getting way better. This light blue is the best. Um, but eventually, I'm going to pause here, eventually we'll run out of oxygen yet again. Um, sorry, we won't run out of oxygen, but we're going to run out of algae at some point because this thing keeps consuming uh, algae at 550 grams per second and it's not you'll you'll you can last a very long time with just one algae deoxidizer and the algae that's kind of in the starting bubble starting area as long as you don't take on too many dupes and I suggest early on that you only take on maybe five dupes until you kind of get things rolling and then I wouldn't go over 10 dupes uh, within the first couple hundred cycles just because it means you're gonna have to grow more food for them you're gonna have to provide more oxygen. So I'm actually going to cancel these <laughs> sweep orders again just so they can uh, they're free to do other things. Now that we've researched um, uh, basic farming, the next thing you want to do probably, because your food is running low, we got 10,000, is build a kind of a farming area. And I'm going to build that uh, closer to the bottom. I usually build my machinery at the top because heat rises. As you can, if you hit the heat overlay F3, you can see it's starting to get a little bit warmer here. 
And these machines and batteries, it'll get warmer and warmer and warmer. And food needs to be grown in a usually a cooler temperature. So I usually build my food kind of down the bottom. So I'm going to dig out. Um, I like my floors to be four tiles high. So I'm going to dig out an area here for some food. Now you make sure you, you want to make sure you don't dig too close to uh, water reservoirs because the tiles will start to crack. So I like to leave at least three tiles of space. Like if this was uh, maybe one tile, this water would probably, due to pressure, it would break the tile and it would leak everywhere. So you got to be careful about that. So they're digging that out, and we're going to go into f under food. We have planter box. And I'm going to build some planter boxes in here. I'm going to build a bunch of them. Now there was kind of mealwood, uh, starting mealwood that you found uh, in the starting area. So now that we have a, a planter built, uh, we select what we want to grow and I'm going to select mealwood, which is kind of the easiest thing to grow early on. And we're going to plant that. And I'm going to set that as a priority seven because food's pretty important. And I'm going to copy the settings to these other planters. And then I'll have to copy the settings once they build these last two planters. And we're done uh, research, so I'll probably do the next research. And the next thing I like to do usually is... Uh, what should I do? I'll probably do power regulation. That way we get the, bit, the better battery. So I'll do that next. Now I have guides. I have a power guide that describes power in great detail. And I have a, a gas guide that talks about all the gases and stuff. So I'll link, I'll link to those in the description. I have a playlist with all the detailed tutorials. But this is supposed to be a beginner's guide. So I won't go into great detail on some things. So I'll build even more planters here. You probably want to build four or five of these mealwood plants for each duplicate that you have. So we at the moment have four duplicates, so maybe 20 to be on the safe side. But we might not have enough seeds uh, to plant uh, 20 mealwood initially. But each time the mealwood grows up here and is harvested, it has a chance of making some seeds. See, base seed harvest chance 10%. So over time, we'll get more and more seeds. So we'll copy those settings. And they'll plant They'll plant them if they can. If they don't have seeds, they'll just, they'll just wait. And I'm going to dig over this way a little bit as well, being careful not to disrupt this sand. And we'll build some more food over here as well. And there's some plants in here we can get to and some oxalate. So in order to make it so the sand doesn't fall down, I'm going to build a tile floor here for our bathroom. Now you want to be careful when you're building a floor in your bathroom because while the floor is being built uh, certain buildings won't work. So you want to make sure you get it kind of done all at once. Or they might not have a bathroom to go to. But it seems to be okay. You probably don't want to build this floor like right before nighttime because then they might leave it kind of broken. So we're going to dig in here now that the floor is built. That way the sand won't cave in. If we had done it before, we would have lost our floor and we'd have to build it in it kind of quickly. So we're going to keep digging across here. Dig this food out. And we'll... There's no point building any more planters yet because uh, we don't have enough seeds. That's what this little marking here means. No seed available. So this will be all, kind of all the seeds that we, or the, all the mealwood we, meal we, we will get initially. But as time goes on, we'll get more seeds and we'll be able to expand our crop here. Now, if you're starting to run out of food, which I actually am, I'm down to 5,000 calories. This mealwood will take a while to grow. And you can see kind of the percentage if you click on it, you can see growing 22%, but there's an overlay the farming overlay which is under right here farming over overlay f10 we can see kind of the percentage growth 
once it gets to 100%, they can harvest it and you can get usable food out of it. But now that we're out of food, uh, or close to out of food, I'm going to build a microbe musher, which lets us build uh, or make some food. And I'm going to put that right here, kind of with our other machinery. And we have to hook that up with a wire. And we have another duplicate ready. Um, I'm going to not take them on right away though. So we can just leave that portal or you can disable it if the noise and light bothers you. There's no rush to take on dupes. So now that we've got the micro musher ready, we can actually start making some food. And I'm going to build, or I'm going to make uh, mush bars initially. And they're made out of dirt and water. They're not very good. They're not very tasty. They can cause diarrhea, but that's kind of all we can make early on. So we'll set that to continuous and we'll just keep making that. And I also set this to a higher priority of seven just so that they focus on making food. Now, who was our cook? Under jobs, we assigned uh, Nicola to be our chef. So we're under priorities. I'm going to go in and make it so that no one else can cook. We'll disable cooking for everyone except Nicola. We'll set to a higher priority. That way, Nicola will get really good at making food and they're the only ones that can make food. And there they go. They're making mush bars. Yucky, but necessary. Until we get our meal mealwood going, we're gonna have to make mush bars, which will take dirt, which we have some of, uh, and water, which we have a decent amount of. If you go up in the top right here, you can kind of expand these menus. You can see how much stuff you have. So under organic, we can see we have 3,300 kilograms of algae, which isn't a whole lot. And under soil, we have 30 tons of dirt, which is quite a bit of dirt. Our storage containers have filled up, so I'm going to build some more storage containers. Stick those maybe beside these. I'm not building on top of the, that little soil mound because that's where a, a hatch has burrowed in. And if you build, if you dig this out, the hatch will get angry and like attack you. So that's why I'm avoiding that. We've got some uh, some critters in here, some shine bugs, which are laying eggs. As you can see, there's a little egg under there that'll grow up into a shine bug later on. Now we're not, we don't have any research going, so I'm going to select the next thing, and I'm probably going to do um, interior decor next. That lets us build lamps flower pots and a ceiling light. Now you'll notice stress has gone up slightly, not too much. Maria's at 2%, Nicola's at 2%. But if you happen to get this, if your stress level is going up for whatever reason, um, it's good to build a recreation room. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put one of those up here. But everyone is busy doing stuff, so. I might skip ahead until they can actually get to this. Marie's busy making power. Bert's busy researching. Maybe we'll take on our fifth duplicate. Let's choose a duplicate here. Uh, I'm going to take on Ruby, I guess. I think five is kind of a good starting number of dupes. That way. They, you know, you have a few spare dupes to do things like digging jobs. I'm actually going to dig in here because we've got some food in here. Some ox light for free oxygen. But like I said, if your stress level is getting high, you want to you want to build a, re a rec room. So under furniture, there's a thing called a massage table. And I'm going to build that right here. I'm leaving room for a door because we want to close this room. So I'll build a couple doors here. And it also needs a decoration item. And soon, once this research is done, we'll be able to build a decoration item. I think that's what I was re researching next. Yeah, interior decor, yep. We'll be able to build a flower pot and plant some decorations. We also have the upgraded battery now, so I'm gonna 
build a regular battery instead of those tiny batteries. And I'm going to hook that up to our circuit here. And once that's built and charged up, I'm going to destroy, take apart these tiny batteries because they're not very good. Now, if you hit F2 for your electronics overlay and you click the actual wire, you can see some interesting things like uh, potential power consumed is 420 watts, which means that if all the machines were running on this wire were running, it would use 420 watts. And our little wheel here generates 400 watts, but we're if, if the power consumption is higher than the production, it will start using the batteries, the energy in the batteries. So that way you can actually, you don't need, you don't need 800 watts to be able to power uh, kind of everything at once. Well, you, you would actually, but for now, one wheel will be enough. And you may want to set your, your power wheel, your manual generator at a higher priority as well. So they're sleeping away. Uh, we got, our food is going up now because we're making mush bars, but we got to hook up this mus massage table. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do a wire from this circuit up here. Connect that up. And there's some settings on the massage table, so you can say break time starts at 50% stress, and then they'll stay on the massage table until zero so they'll stay on until their stress goes all the way down to zero uh, it's okay to leave these sets uh, these settings at the default but if you're having trouble managing stress you can set the slider up slightly so that they'll get on at 50 and they'll get off at like 20 ish or something that way the if all the duplicates are a little bit stressed out they can kind of rotate through now we don't have a room bonus at the moment because we're missing a decoration so we're gonna put some furniture a flower pot. I'm going to put a flower pot in there. And we're not researching anything at the moment, so I'm going to select our next thing. And it's kind of up to you at this point what you choose. Um, artistic expression is kind of useful because you can make paintings, uh, which will provide more decor, which will keep them happier. Missing research station. Okay. So I've researched something that requires the supercomputer, which we don't have built yet. So I have to go into stations, build a supercomputer. And I don't have much room left here, so I'm going to put it up in this level. And we're going to hook that up to the power. Get that built. And I'll probably skip ahead until we're ready to do that. Once this is all built, I'll come back. Now they can't actually get in there because I haven't dug this tile out, so we'll do that. Well, but I'll let them catch up and I'll be right back. So we've got our supercomputer built and now Bert's able to do the, some of the advanced research we selected, the artistic expression. Now you'll notice the oxygen levels are really good in the base right now. So you can always turn off the algae deoxidizer if it's uh, if the oxygen levels are super high. So I'll disable that and that'll save us some energy. But you want to keep an eye on oxygen, so if it drops low and gets kind of in that purple color, you want to turn that back on. I'm going to disassemble these uh, tiny batteries because they're not very good. They're not very efficient. Now food is at 15,000, so we're pretty good for food. Our mealwood over here uh, has already been harvested, I think. Let's just check under edible. We have meal lice, which is the product of these mealwood plants. Now instead of making wish bars, uh, I'm going to cancel that and do lice loaf instead as continuous. That way they'll turn the, um, if you select lice loaf, you can see it uses meal lice, 1200 calories, it adds some water, and it bumps up the calories. So you're basically turning 50 kilograms of water into an extra 500 calories, which is good. But uh, I don't actually have enough meal lice, I just ran out, so I'll I'll take that back off and put mush batters back on. But as you get more and more meal lice grown, you can uh, kind of toggle those back and forth. The lice loaf being the better food than the mush bars. So we got our, uh, our little planter flower pot done here. So I'm going to plant a briar seed in there just for a little bit of um, artistic 
building, which is a requirement for a rec room. Now our stress is really low, so you don't actually have to build this um, until your stress starts to creep up. But I'm just doing it just to show you. And just in case your stress levels are high, and I'm going to build two little doors here. Actually, that might be too small of a room. Let's build, uh, leave a bit of room here. Leave a room for maybe another massage table. And Ruby has no job at the moment, so I'm going to assign Ruby to uh, art because we're going to need some, we're going to need an artist in our midst. So now that this is a room, we can check our room overlay and see that it's a rec room. So they get extra stress relief when they when they get on the massage table. Now there's no big rush to keep uh, to, to plow through all the research. You can kind of take it at whatever pace you want. Um, eventually, you'll need some of the some of the things in here. So next, I'm going to do now that artistic expression is done. I'm going to do probably. Uh, Pressure management. Now, if you select things over to the right, it'll automatically do the things to the left. And I'm doing pressure management because I'm going to get an airlock, which I, which is useful, and an airflow tile, which is also useful. As well, we're going to get a gas pump, a gas vent, and gas piping, which we'll use eventually, but probably not for quite some time. Now, like I said before, all the CO2 is making its way to the bottom of the base. It's getting trapped here because there's no place for it to go. That's okay because they're not doing a whole lot of stuff over here. Let's dig up these plants we have here. And we got to keep an eye on algae to make sure that we have enough algae to fill the, uh, the oxidizer to keep our oxygen levels going. But you'll notice all the oxygen is floating up out into the top here. And it's kind of a waste. So eventually I'll want to airlock this off to uh, keep all the air inside the base. This water level, it's slowly going down as we use the water, so we will probably have to deconstruct this um, pitcher pump. What I'll do is I'm going to build a ladder down here to the bottom of the water. Now they're going to go in there and they're going to get they're going to get wet, which they don't like to go in the water. So um, you don't want to you don't you don't want them in here too much, but I'm just getting prepared so that that we can move this pump down later on. And like I said before, you want to keep three tiles, um, kind of a three tile wall around your water just in case, uh, otherwise it might break open and cause a flood. We do have another duplicate ready, but I'm not going to take it on. I'm going to stick with five duplicates for now. Disable that building just so it kind of turns off for now. Actually, it's okay, but no, I'll, t I'll, I'll disable it. And I'll set the priority higher so they actually disable it. There we go. And we're missing a, a bed, I noticed, so we're going to put a fifth cot in there. Set that priority. S oh, seven's good. Food's going up. Our mealwood's coming along. And our research just got done. So now we have... Uh, this, this pumping and stuff, but we still have to wait till pressure management's done to get our airflow tiles. And then I want to put airflow tiles in on each floor so that the air, the CO2 can sink down. Otherwise it can get trapped in little nooks and crannies. You probably also want to start sweeping up more of the, the junk in the base. So I built some more storage containers here copy the settings and I'm gonna let them sweep up this last bit out of that room and we'll sweep out the rec room sweep out the bathroom now we built our bathroom but we do have polluted water and polluted dirt building up and we're gonna have to deal with that because it's giving off polluted oxygen which is kind of nasty so under research later on we get uh, decontamination uh, let's just see here I'm looking for the compost. That's what, probably what we want to do next. Uh, maybe we already have it. Let's just see. Under refinement. Compost. So you want to build a compost probably in your bathroom. Um, maybe in the back here. Oh, and I realized we're not getting our bathroom bonus because I have that tile missing. So I'll put that tile back. 
and they'll take the polluted dirt which is coming out of these outhouses and they'll put it in the compost and it'll it'll eventually turn into dirt for us so I should probably should have set that up earlier but I kind of forgot about it so we'll set that to a pretty high priority of seven that way they'll take the polluted dirt and they'll stick it in here and they'll shovel it around a bit and it'll eventually turn into nice dirt that we can use I'll leave that there. And we have polluted water building up in these uh, wash basins that we'll have to deal with. And we're going to have to put that polluted water somewhere. And I'm going to find a place to put it. Because it's full of germs and we don't want them kind of... We don't want them touching it. So I'll probably put it over here. I'll make a little pit for it to go into. But we want to keep our room bonus. So I'm going to build a door here, and then we'll dig across here. Now this is getting into the warmer zone, but I think it'll be okay. We're not going to go too far into it. You definitely don't want to dig into the chlorine early on, because that'll just get in your base and cause lots of troubles. I noticed the oxygen is getting low, so I'm going to enable the algae deoxidizer again. So we'll dig across here. We'll dig a ladder down. And I'll build a little a little area to dump the polluted water in. I'll make it four high. It doesn't have to be very big. We can make it a little bit wider. But I'm avoiding this area because it's got chlorine, it's got lots of nasty things that we don't want to encounter yet. And our CO2 levels are building up. So I'll probably dig this out. Oops. Just leaving a gap on either side of the ladder so the CO2 could fall down nicely. And I'll dig this out as well, so it's three high. So that If you have three tiles high, the gases move much more smoothly. So I'll wait until they get all this built and then we'll get on to the next, next stage. So we've got a little bit more done here. Now, we're gonna let them dig this out um, and I'm going to build a tile right here. I might use an airflow tile now that we have them. Now airflow tiles use copper, so you usually start off with a lot of copper. I build an airflow tile here. And then I'm under plumbing, you want to put a, a bottle emptier and you want to make sure it faces... It could face either way here, but I'm going to make it face... Hit O to uh, rotate it. I'm going to make it face the other way. And once it's built, we'll select polluted water, which we've got some building up here. We can see a little bottle of it right here. Polluted water in these bottles, it'll give off polluted oxygen, which is kind of nasty and they don't really like breathing it. So uh, we'll put this here and then we'll allow them. Okay, now that it's built, we can select polluted water, but I'm not gonna select it yet until they finish digging it out. So we'll let them work on that. And since we have airflow tile now, I'm going to go around and I'm going to build airflow tile, kind of space it out on every floor. I like to do them every four tiles or so, so we'll stick them kind of around here. And let's build, build one over here, build one in the bedroom. And this will enable the CO2 that they're exhaling to kind of float down to the bottom and make its way down here. Now I switched back to uh, lice loaf in the food thing because we had a bunch of lice loaf and right now I'm gonna actually take off everything from the queue because we got lots of food at the moment. If I need more I'll go back to cooking more but for now we got enough. And one little pro tip, uh, food inside of a ration box it's not refrigerated, so it'll it'll spoil over time. You can see fresh here, 84%. And change per cycle, minus 13% per cycle. So there's no point making a bunch of food if it's not refrigerated, because it'll just rot really quickly and turn into rot and they won't be able to eat it. And later on, you'll get a refrigerator, which takes power. But if you build a ration box or a fridge in CO2, like down here, we got a nice little pocket of CO2. 
uh, the food will stay sterile and it won't decay. So it's kind of a nice little way to keep your food sterile forever. It takes a while to get a CO2 pocket to kind of form, uh, but we'll probably have a nice one here and we might have a nice one here later on. But for now, we don't have much food, so it's not really a big concern. They'll probably eat it before it rots. And that's why you don't want to build a giant pile of food uh, until you have proper food storage. So let's, now that this is dug out, let's select polluted water. And I'm going to set it at a pretty high priority. Seven is probably pretty good. So they're going to take all the polluted water that comes from these uh, wash basins and they're going to, whenever it fills up, they're going to take it over here, dump it in this little pit. And if you go to the germ overlay, you can see this is full of food poisoning because it came from the bathrooms. And for now, we'll just keep dumping it in there and eventually we'll do something with it. But for now, it's not super critical. The polluted oxygen that's coming off that, the tiny amounts will kind of drift into the base. So we might want to put an airlock in there later. And we might want to build a deodorizer once we get the research for it. So if we go into research, the next thing I'm going to do is sanitation. No, let's see here. Decontamination. If I can click it, it's not letting me click it. There we go. So that'll give us plumbing, sanitation, and decontamination, which gives us the deodorizer. Uh, which is a very nice piece of equipment which will clean, will use sand to clean the air so any polluted oxygen that's built up uh, which is, I don't think we have a whole lot in the base right now but if any has built up uh, it'll clean, clean, clean it for you so now that we got the basics going uh, stress is still pretty low it's going up a little bit but we have a massage table in case they get too stressed out you can actually set it lower, so I might actually set it to like 26, 24% stress. So if they get to 20, any dupe gets to 24, they'll jump on here, start de-stressing. So the object, the name of the game now is just to continue to increase your mealwood supply until you get maybe five mealwood plants per duplicate. And I'm going to build more right now. Put some planter boxes over here. We need to build a proper floor in here, so I'm going to go build a floor here. Actually, not right here, because we got we got some oxalate here we can use, so I'll expose that, let that vent out. Uh, but we can build, let's pause. Whenever your dupes are idle, just sitting around, just pause until you get everything else queued up, ready to go. So we'll build three more of those. And I'm going to copy the settings to these planters. And now that we have enough seeds, we can... Oh, we only have one more seed. So we're going to have to wait until we get more seeds to fully plant these. Let's pause again. Now, like I said, the name of the game now is... Uh, continuing to get algae to feed the deoxidizer to keep everyone uh, with lots of oxygen. And uh, continue to make food and continue to explore. So now that we got the basics going, we want to clean up the floors as well. But we want to start exploring out... We don't want to dig into the chlorine yet, but we do want to kind of explore up. So I'll probably build a ladder like this. At priority six. We'll head up this way, but we don't, we definitely don't want to go into this slime area. Because that's got a ton of slime lung disease, and you want to avoid that kind of early on. But by them digging, building up here, it's going to expose more and more of the, um, of the map, so you can kind of see more things. Now, a word, a word of warning, if you dig all the way to the top of the map, you're going to expose uh, space and meteorites will start falling on space and on the top and eventually it'll cause damage. So you want to avoid the top of the map until you're kind of ready for it, which we'll get into later. And you kind of want to avoid the very bottom of the map as well because it's super hot and your dupes will burn if, you, if they go too low. So just keep working your way through the research. Uh, we have decamp. Uh, we don't have decontamination yet, but we have plumbing coming. So eventually we'll run out of water, but it'll take some time. That water there, that water there, and that water there, and then we'll be out of water. And you need to find a geyser on the map. In random places, you'll find a steam geyser. 
uh, which supplies really hot water, which you'll be able to use for bathrooms and stuff. But that'll come in later tutorials. And this episode's getting this this uh, yeah this episode's getting really long, so I think I'll wrap things up here, and we'll continue on with kind of more concepts in the next episode. So I hope you enjoyed that. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.